Seattle's violent crime rates have decreased, and substance abuse is not as serious as the rest of the state. Nevertheless, drug addiction in Massachusetts as a whole, according to this report, is a cause for concern. The Massachusetts Health Council reports that violent crimes have gone down in the state by 8.5% from 2010 to 2011. Though they say Massachusetts remains the most violent state in the Northeast, they're seeing significant decreases in violent crime in cities like Springfield, which advocates attribute to action taken in those cities. These major cities have taken very specific and broad actions, putting together community coalitions to prevent violence. Substance abuse, however, is on the rise. The council reports eastern Massachusetts has the highest rate of urban drug-related emergency room visits in the country. Worcester has lifetime heroin addicts double the national average. Advocates say there's a growing problem stemming from the bathroom medicine chest. Youth are getting into the medicine cabinets um, and may even be getting prescribed opiates themselves. We feel that there's a strong connection between prescription drug use um, and then there's this leap over to heroin. For the first time, the council is tracking oral health and has found a troubling number of two to eight year olds suffering from dental decay and tooth loss. There are many communities in Western Mass that don't have community water fluoridation, and that is the most cost effective public health measure to prevent dental decay. Advocates noted that Massachusetts has a good Samaritan law. So if you are a co-drug user with someone who is overdosing, call 911 and you'll be safe. You won't be arrested or prosecuted. Live in Boston, Christine Lee, 22 News.